So today I'm talking about a Toyota with the P1200 code, what it is and how you go about fixing it. So what is a Toyota P1200 code? Well, it's a fuel pump relay ECU circuit malfunction. And what does this mean? Well, the onboard computer is not able to control the fuel pump and it's having issues sending it information. And so it's sending out this code, which had to be troubleshooted to know why. And some of the possible causes of this, well, it could be in the wiring, could be an open or a short, could be a bad fuel pump relay, uh, could be a bad fuel pump and possibly a bad onboard computer ECU but that's fairly rare and so the first thing to do when you get this code is to go locate the fuel pump relay and the fuel pump fuse and every Toyota is gonna be a little different on how the fuses lay out and things like this but it'll be inside the engine compartment will be a fuse box you can pop open the cover and inside of there should be something along the lines like EFI this will be the relay below it right here this is the fuse so the first thing to do is go check these be sure this fuse hasn't blown and either test or replace this EFI relay since this can cause this problem and quite commonly there's also another relay and the second one will be located up underneath the dashboard is this blue one in this image right here this is to the left of the steering wheel underneath the dashboard there's a relay inside of here this is like a 2007 Corolla I believe and when the key gets turned on this relay activates the other relay inside the engine compartment is controlled by the computer but both of these relays would have to work or else there could be an error inside the system. And so if you go to the engine compartment and you check the relay in there, it'd be a good idea if you got a diagram for the circuit on your particular Toyota, since there can be differences between the years and models and everything like this. So you'll want to get a diagram for what's going on on your particular Toyota, since this code is pointing towards a problem inside of this circuit somewhere. From when the key is switched on, it'll turn on, it's controlling the relay, which is controlling the fuel pump, and of course the ECM or the ECU, which is controlling controlling everything from the computer. You want to get a schematic for that. And one of the things many mechanics will do is that they'll test the wires going around and be sure there's no opens or shorts or anything inside of going from the ECM or ECU all the way through to the relays and back to the fuel pump because any open or short or anything like this can cause issues with this. So you want to make sure that's not happening. And the only way you can really do that is to get a schematic for your particular car and go around, check the wires, look at each wire, go through with the meter and test them. And so if you've gone through and done that, you check the fuel pump relay, you check the fuel pump fuse, you checked out the wiring and there's no opens or shorts or anything like that then very likely that fuel pump is bad, which is a common problem with this code. And the fuel pump has probably just failed some circuitry inside of it. So at this point, it would be a good idea that you go test or replace that fuel pump because it very likely is the problem at that point. And so if you've gone through and you tested all those things and all those things look good, there's no issues with any of those and you still can't solve the problem, then the vehicle might have a bad onboard computer. The ECU may have gone bad. I would double check all the wiring and the grounds and everything like this and be sure everything is good before I replaced it. This isn't very common. And usually it's something else the ECU very rarely fails so usually it's something else I would go double check all the wiring and everything like this but if you check everything else out and you can't figure it out it could be the onboard computer and so that's basically it I just wanted to give a real quick brief overview of how you go about fixing a Toyota with the P1200 code if you have anything to add please comment down below if you have any questions ask me and I'll try to answer them if this video helps you please click like please click subscribe and have a good day